Google's Nano Banana completely solves character consistency. And the best part? It's free to use. Watch what I created with just a few simple words. No complicated and detailed prompts needed. Whoa, Ron! Look at this! Hey friend, welcome, I'm Nova. Today I want to show you how to create consistent characters for your story using Nano Banana, which is Google's groundbreaking new AI model that finally cracks the code on character consistency. It lets you edit images directly inside of a conversation, allowing you to build entire visual stories, scene by scene. Okay, let's dive in. As of right now, you can access this tool in two simple ways. First, in the main Gemini app, just make sure you select the Gemini 2.5 flash model, and from Tools, select Create Images. Or, you can use Google AI Studio, just click Try Nano Banana, and you're set. From there, it's simple. Upload your photo, and start typing. Easy peasy. Now, for the proof. I'll build a story from scratch with simple prompts and show you its incredible character consistency. I'll start with a simple idea, a boy and his cat in a cozy sunlit attic. We'll call them Uno and Ron. Nano Banana generates this beautiful first scene for us. Now, watch this. With one simple prompt, I can ask the AI to edit this scene and introduce a magical element, like this ancient, glowing map and then have them walking through a forest guided by that map. And then have them step through a magical doorway into another world. Pay close attention. Even with this major change, Uno and Ron stay perfectly consistent. And I'm showing you that I created each scene with one time generation. No more re-rolling to get consistency. We've completely changed the background, the lighting, the entire environment, and even with a realistic style. See how perfect and simple that is? But the real test for any AI is handling multiple characters. So, let's start with this simple portrait and build a cinematic scene, one prompt at a time. My first prompt is simple. And just like that, look how perfectly it matched the characters. You see how consistent the result is? Now, let's change the camera angle to the point of view of the woman in the white blouse. And it perfectly changes the angle. Nice. I changed the action and camera to a side view of them laughing then to a totally new activity. And finally, a really tricky shot from behind. Notice how through every single change, the characters remain perfectly consistent. But can it handle a cinematic action scene? Let's take our characters and drop them into a story. I'll put them in a car. Then add sudden danger with one simple prompt. And finally, a full-on action shot with a new camera angle for creating the rest of our video, I'm going to show you something really exciting. We're going to use a tool called Google Opal. It's a no-code platform that lets you build your own mini AI apps, currently in a public beta available in the United States. Once you're inside the Opal dashboard, you'll see a gallery of pre-built apps you can explore, as well as a section for any previous projects you've created. To get started, click Create New. Okay, here we are on a blank canvas in Opal. Now, from here you could just type the full functionality of the app you want, and Opal would try to build it for you. But to really understand how it works, we're going to build one from scratch. First, let's simply add a user input node. Think of this as the text box for our app where we'll type our ideas. We can further configure each node from this panel on the right. For example, you can write placeholder text to guide your users, and you can also select the input type. Next, 
We need the brain of our operation, and that's the generate node. This is the node that performs the main AI action for our app. Now, the job of this node will be to act as an expert prompt writer and enhancer for us. So, for its model, we need to choose a powerful language model. This main prompt area is where we give our AI its job description. The specific instruction we give this node is the key to our whole workflow. And to make it work, we simply connect our video idea node to this one. Okay, let's add another generate node. This node's only job is to generate the video for us. So, in the configuration panel, we'll set its model to the powerful video model, Veo. And finally, we'll add an output node, this will be our video player. And there it is. That reflects everything we've done. A complete, a simple application built in just a few minutes. Okay, now I'm going to build another app. And we're going to do it with one, single, detailed prompt. I'll paste it in now. This one acts like a complete blueprint, telling Opal exactly what our app should look like and how it should function. An image upload area, a box for our animation instructions, and a generate button. And of course, I've linked this exact prompt for you in the description below. And here's a final tip. If you want the app to generate a specific JSON format, you just change the main prompt for this Gemini node. You can give it any instructions you want to control the final structure. It's incredibly flexible. Okay, our app is now complete. Let's connect the final nodes together and test it. If you're ever curious about what's happening behind the scenes, you can click on the console tab. Here, you can find a detailed log of the entire generation process. Okay guys, I really enjoyed being with you today. Please, comment your thoughts I love to hear from you. Love you all, and I'll see you in the next one!